want you to spin back in time for just a moment. I want you to travel back to a time when the West was young. People were tough. And there was no such thing as Facebook. A time over a hundred years ago, when out here on the open range, right, you might find a wild bunch of cowboys out there. They'd be out there for months at a time, pushing them cattle to market with nothing but their ropes and their whips. The Lariat, La Rieta, came north with cattle from old Mexico. La Rieta certainly came the ten essential tool of the cowboy, the Lariat. And of course, the Lariat was used for catching livestock. Out on the open range, of course, the cowboys out there, the wide open range would take that rope, swing it over their heads and catch that livestock, bring them in. But here in Arizona, we use the Lariat, step aside, sir. <laughs> you know what's coming now, don't you? Yeah. We also use the lariat to catch our wives. Give her a round of applause. Nice job, ma'am. Technically, in like three counties, you and I are married now. Let's see if we can get one behind us. I didn't get that in the beginning. There we go. Yeah! That was it. I got that flat loop going. Now we call it a flat loop. Those Mexican Charles, Vaqueros, Old Mexico, they named all the tricks. That's called a flat loop because it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> And that's called the wedding ring, and just like my life, <laughs> my divorce is kind of sloppy, but let me see if I can get out of this for you. Oh, Woo! there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Lariat! So it's Wilder's bidding. I'm speaking, of course, of the notorious bullwhip, braided leather, anywhere from four to 24 foot long, used to keep the livestock moving with a cracking sound. That's caused as the end of the whip travels over the speed of sound, breaking the sound barrier, making a little sonic boom. Now we think of that straightforward crack, the cattleman's crack, or circus crack. We think of that as the quintessential crack of a whip. This thing will take ears off at its length. Line. Oh. 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 They didn't want to get tangled up with each other as they passed, or worse yet, hit each other. So we took the passing on the right. Never mind what would happen to the pedestrians, huh? Hey, speaking of hitting things. You want to see some target whipping? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh. 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 Just make sure we're we're safe here. You all remember doing it because it always started with your cap gun as you were a kid in the front lawn doing that backspin, right? Pretty soon you're doing that forward roll, which is the same thing only different. You might try putting that together for a combination spin or going over the top for that wagon wheel or taking that into a side spin and taking that around the clock. We get that one for you too back here. Of course, those gunslingers of old, why, you remember them tossing the gun in the air and catching it, doing a backflip, a forward flip, or maybe even stopping that flip about halfway through and tossing it back the other way. Now, okay, that was a heck of a trick, folks. No, what we did was we stopped that flip halfway through and tossed it back the other way. I know, that's how it was in the West, and if it wasn't, it should have been. Now, I heard there was some that could forget that little stop move right there and just tap it back with a barrel tap. Yeah. Woo. 
And I heard there was one good pistolero in the Old West who could balance that gun right on the palm of his hand. It was a move that was more myth than legend. Yeah. 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 Justice, he had that nice little diverse layback thing, something Got it. like that. Charlie's thought was kind of flashy. And if you're talking about fast and flashy draws, you cannot leave out the Barney Fife. <laughs> and of course, there's the Duke, the one and only John Wayne. In just about every western he ever made. After the gunfight, he would signify business was done by holstering his weapon with no flash at all. <laughs> That's how it was in the West. And if it wasn't, yeah, it's it's good. Good. Oh, exactly what I was thinking. Let's see if we can't get some of the fancy flips for you. Uh, maybe an underhand flip or an underhand switch. How about behind the back? And here's one you won't see anybody else do. Changing directions in mid spin. Yeah. Let's see if we can get double wagon wheels over the top or upside down, whatever those are called. In the air, how about two guns in the air at the same time? Would that get you clapping? In the air, backwards. Oh, that was not good. Backwards, forwards, and how about we juggle them from hand to hand? Let me hear you. Man alive. Of course, this trick and fancy gunplay would not do anything except get you killed in a gunfight, right? Yes that I'm using single action six shooters, which means you cannot just pull the trigger. No, hey, before you leave, grab, oh, no, you're not leaving, you're just going to the shade. <laughs> means you cannot pull the trigger, you gotta cock that thing back every time before you pull that trigger, okay? So when it comes with a quick draw, really it is all about drawing that weapon out of the holster, cocking that hammer back, aiming it, aiming it, aiming it, and squeezing that trigger. Now all of this, draw, cock, aim, and squeeze, would sometimes come down to just around two tenths of a second. And that is about the time it'll take you to clap your hands if you got them already cocked and pointed at me. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pretend like you all got the drop on me. I want you to take your hands out. Cock them back about shoulder width apart. And I want you to point them right at me. I know it sounds dangerous. Do it anyways. Point them right at me. Now all you got to do is clap your hands. When you see me, go for my gun. I, on the other hand, have to draw that weapon out of the holster. Cock that hammer back. Point it. And squeeze the trigger all before you clap your hands. We're going to see what we hear first. The hand clap or the gun shot. Keep your eyes on the weapon, sir. If you do this with your hands in your pockets, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> there you go. What's the matter with you? You yell and get your hands out. You see somebody that doesn't have their hands out right now, for the rest of the day when you walk by them, you go... Yeah. Only in America. Only in America. All right, here you go. 